Hey guys, Dark with uh, Cyclone FPV. So now we're going on to part two. We're uh, talking about the uh, the uh, Horus X10 right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to now be updating it, taking it from the FreeSky OS, and we're going to be taking it to the OpenTX OS, okay? So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my memory card reader, and I'm going to take a memory card that's at least 8 gig or larger, but under 32 gig unless you want to partition it. And I'm going to put that in the computer, and I'm going to format it. So let me show you what we're going to do here. So I'm just going to take this, put it into my laptop up here, right and if you've seen the other videos and you know what i'm about to do but here it goes so we're going to format that so let me go here right click on the d drive left click on format and then i want to do a fat 32 and i'm going to call this um uh, uh, fr sky oops i'm not typing my bad fr sky x10 okay hit enter and we'll do a quick format click ok Okay, it should format pretty quickly. Okay, perfect. Now we're gonna click okay. We're gonna click close. That's step one. Now I've got the FreeSky website open here, but I'm not really interested in that right now. This is because we were doing the last video on adding the uh, FreeSky OS. Okay, so what I wanna do now is, if you have not gone to OpenTX yet, you need to go to OpenTX and download the OpenTX companion. And to do that, you will just go to open-tx.org and hit enter, I don't know why I'm typing in caps, and then you will go to OpenTX Companion. Uh, let me see, let me go right here. So OpenTX 2.3.14, I don't think I've downloaded this one yet, so I'm gonna go ahead, I don't know what version I have, let me see. I have 2.3.11, so let me close mine, and I'm gonna go ahead and download 2.3.14. Okay, and I'm gonna download the, there we go, the Windows installer. So I guess we'll just do that together. Yeah, there it is, it's that it was quick. I'm going to go ahead now and open, click yes, agree to install, next, and that's fine, next, 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 okay. So we're going to install 2.3.14, and now if you've watched part one of this, uh, then you made the folder, let's go ahead and open this up, you've already made the folder like I showed you, I made mine under desktop, if you haven't watched that part, please go back and watch part one under the folder transmitter, I made something called the customer X10, and here's the folders I already created, okay? Um, we know what we're gonna have to do next, so let's go ahead and just make their folders in here. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open our X10 folder, and we're gonna click the new folder button here, and we're gonna call this uh, SD card, okay? First, that's the most important thing there that we're gonna do, and then we'll do the rest of the stuff later. So now OpenTX is installed, it should be up and running. And it says there's a new version of OpenTX. I'm not going to be doing that for this one. I'm, you're not going to see the screen most likely, but I do because I had OpenTX already loaded. Just click no or whatever. I just want to get to the main screen. No, I don't want to ignore anything. What I want to do is I want to go to my settings, and I want to go to radio profiles. And I have an X10 Express, but I don't believe I have an X10. I don't know if I have enough space to try to do another one, but let's see. Radio profile. So you go settings, radio profiles, and then click add a radio profile. And mine may not let me add it has a limit of how many you can add so let me let me delete one um well i have two x10 expresses i'm going to delete mine so let me just do that and then click settings and then go to radio profiles and i'm going to delete the one for me because i don't have an x10s anymore all right now settings radio profiles add a radio profile and this one's going to be called customer X10. Be very careful you don't make a mistake here. In this area, you're going to have some options. You're going to have uh, Tyrannus, da 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 da, and then you're going to need to go down and make sure uh, that you select X10, X10S, not Express, not any other ones. X10, X, that's it right there. Then you're going to want to do no heli, and let's see, internal access, we don't have that yet. Uh, Flex 9 RM, I guess we can do that, I don't care. External access mod. Uh, yeah, I'll do that one. Okay, Lewis scripts, yes. I may do this one just because I'm going to add the internal module eventually. So I'm going to check that because I am. So now let me go to select folder and we just created that SD card. So what you're going to do is go to your desktop. Well, for me, I'm going to go to my desktop, then my transmitter, then that folder X10. And then I'm going to go right here to my SD card folder right there and click select folder. Perfect. Now for my back fo backup folder, I'm going to click select folder. And I'm going to go to my desktop. And then I'm going to go to my transmitter and then my X10. And here I'm going to make a new folder. 
and I'm gonna call it back up. Okay. And I'm gonna highlight that till it populates down here and click select folder. Okay. Now we'll enable automatic backups. We're gonna append the versions, do this and this. I don't really care about default channel order right now. And then I'm gonna to go to application settings and I'm going to tell it to, everything here actually looks good. Um, so automatic check, automatic check, show splash screen, that's fine. And then we have our backup, which I'm gonna change to be my desktop. And then uh, we're gonna to go to transmitter and then we're gonna to go to X10 and then backup. There we go, select folder. Everything else looks good, good, so let's click okay. All right, now we've got the profile set up. So now what we wanna do is we wanna set up our we want to download our updates, right? So the first thing here is what we're going to do is we're going to click download and we want to go ahead and check for updates. And it is right here. We want the firmware OBDX has it here. So let's go ahead and download and we'll click yes. It's going to ask us where we want to put it. Again, go back to desktop or go back to your folder that you have for your radio transmitter X10. And then from here, I'm going to make a new folder called Open TX FW, and that stands for Open TX Firmware. And I'm going to double click that and I'm going to shrink this entire thing down until it only has the name of the radio and the firmware number right there. So dash, that's it, because it's hard to read these files when you don't, when you have them too long. So click save. It's going gonna, it's gonna to save. Uh, I do not want to write it yet. I'm going to click nope. Now I want to download the, I don't think there's, I don't even know what, what would be, uh, that's what I just downloaded, so I'm going to click, no, sorry. Download SD card content is what I want to do next. And for this one, what we want to do is we want to download the newest one, which is going to be June, right here. So let's click that. And that's going to save it to our downloads folder. We're going to move that in a little bit, okay? So hang tight a second. Done down. Let me give it just one second. Okay, now that, uh, no, it's still at 30 seconds. Okay, so we've got our SD card contents here. So let's go ahead now and let's click show in folder. And we're gonna right click on that and we're gonna left click on cut. And we're gonna go to our, um, our folder here that we created. And we're gonna right click here and left click on paste, okay? Once that's here, I want you to go ahead and right click on the uh, file you just downloaded and click, left click on extract all and click extract. It's going to pull the, all the contents out, so give that a second today. It could take just a minute. just a little bit more.
Okay, now here's our SD card contents. And one of the biggest things that we have here is gonna be the sounds folder. So double click on it, delete all the languages that you don't want. Cause those are gonna be the largest part of this entire folder. So make sure to remove them. I'm just gonna keep the English folder. I'm gonna delete the rest of them. Okay, all right. Now go back to SD card contents right here. Highlight all of these. Once they're highlighted, right click, left click on copy. And then you're gonna to go to that SD card folder that we did here, and you're gonna right click and left click on paste. Okay, and then we're gonna move all the contents from there into the SD card folder contents that we created. All right, now, we still have some work to do here, so the first thing we're gonna do is, we also created, uh, uh, we created the OpenTX firmware. I want you to highlight that, right click on it, left click on cut, then go to your SD card folder, then go to firmware folder, and then right click and left click on paste. Okay? All right. The other thing that we're gonna do here is we're gonna right click on this screen and we're gonna left click on new folder and we're gonna put uh, FR Sky TX FW. That'll be our Free Sky transmitter firmware if we need any. And we're gonna do a uh, new folder and then we're gonna do an FR SKY rx firmware for any receiver firmware that we should happen to be loading to stay uh, organized like this and you will be able to find your files much easier all right so there's our sd card okay and so that's the files that we need um and what we want to do now is uh we want to go ahead and head over to open tx click ok right here okay and uh let me see there's a couple ways that they ask you to do this what we're going to do is we're basically going to leave our radio off and we'll do just like this. Okay, and with the powered off, we're going to plug in our USB right there. Okay, and we're going to go to uh, OpenTX and we're going to click to read the firmware from the radio and it's going to save it and that's what we want to do. So remember where we did our backup, right? Our FreeSky OS, uh, that's our updates, but we have our flash backup here. I would also put this, uh, I would call this the Free Sky. Okay, Free Sky OS backup, and it's gonna make a backup of the system files that are on here. So once you do that, click save. Okay, it's reading all that from the radio right there. And now you're done, okay? Now what we want to do is there's a couple things we can do first. The first thing we're going to do here is we're going to click right firmware to radio. And we're going to go to, uh, it automatically knows where we put it, which is right here. Okay, but um, what I want to do is I'm going to click load. And I'm going to go to my SD card. And I'm going to go to my firmware. And I'm going to go to my OpenTX firmware. Uh, where did my stuff go? So make sure I put my files in there properly. I think I messed up the file name, so I accidentally took, I believe it should be like this. I believe, let me just check. That's it right there. I accidentally deleted the extension on the end. Uh, okay, make sure you have check hard right compatibility, do all that, and click right TX. And it's getting ready to do an update now.
All right, so it's done. We're going to click close. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and eject. So come over here and eject the uh, radio, the STM30 bootloader, eject that. That means you can disconnect your radio. Now, we still have our USB card in the computer, which is sitting right here. Uh, let me see, let me find it right here, right? And we have all these SD card contents files sitting right here. You wanna highlight all of these now, right click on it. Uh, yeah, left click on copy, go to your SD card. Uh, folder which is right here and then right click and left click on paste and we're gonna basically move all that stuff over and this will go uh, a lot quicker than if you plug it into the radio and ask it to do it that way let me just make sure I got the right yep that's it this takes a long time Oh, I'm sorry, but there's nothing I can do to speed it up. I am going to check out this new watch thing that got sent to me. 2.4 gigahertz mini HD display. Mini HD display. Wow. And it's for a while. It's... Did they tell us how to put this stupid thing? Oh, I see. Oh, wow. Fancy. So what they want you to do, this is kind of cool, I guess. You put it on, you wear it like a watch. I guess that's cool. Then. Or you can just stick it onto your radio. All right, so we're almost done here doing the SD card uh, copying. It says come with USB-C, so that'd be neat. Let me go ahead and charge that up and see how it looks. That's not USB-C this is. My bad. There, all right. Our document, everything's copied over. I mean, our files are copied over, so we can close that. And we can close this. And now we can just go back to our USB and eject the uh, SD card. There you go. Now let's get back to the you know, toys out of here. Go back to this. Here's the card that we did. Put it in upside down. Just like that. Radio. Now we've got our OpenTX screen. Okay. Welcome to OpenTX. Perfect. So we're going to do our calibration first. So it's going to tell you anyways to get everything centered. So might as well go ahead and do that. Okay. Press enter to start. Set everything to center as best you can. And then just go ahead and go through all the motions. Okay. All right, let's turn it down. Turn it up. There we go, turn it down. Turn it up. All right, and then we'll click our center one. Do our end ones too. Okay, I'm just gonna hit enter. Mine's not my center one wasn't working very well. Let me go to calibrate this again real quick, so let me
Okay, we're done. Everything's calibrated. All right, now we're back at our screen and everything here is looking good, all right? So what we wanna do is, I guess we could go to our system. Let's see what they've got as uh, our data here. I've got the wrong month, I think. So let me go ahead. There we go. Uh, and then let's see, we can return out of that, okay. This is gonna be mode two, so make sure you change that. Rental warning. Thank you, okay. Uh, let's see what else we have. 2.3.14, and then we have no internal, okay, everything else is up, all right. All right, so there we go. So we've just done an update to um, OpenTX, all right? So everything now is good on that end. Now what we're gonna do is, um, uh, we will get ready to go back now and how to transfer it back to FreeSky OS, okay? So, uh, but we've gotta get some uh, updates on here first, so let me go ahead and do that and then we'll be right back to discuss the rest of this. So guys, if you have any questions, let me know. Hit me up at cyclonefpb.com. Uh, and as always, please subscribe to our YouTube channel right here. And if you need any help, you can always go to our Facebook page up there. So you've got YouTube down here, Facebook up there. Uh, most of all, guys, as always, uh, go spend time with your family. You never know how much time you have left. Go make the most of it. You can always fly later, guys. God bless, be safe, and we'll talk to you soon. Peace.